What's up everybody and welcome to Rusty Fenders. Today we're going to be taking a look at this paranormal custom Nashville Stratocaster in Fiesta Red. Uh, I always liked uh, the paranormal series so let's go and take a look at this one which uh, looks to be pretty cool. And the box itself arrived a little banged up, not super bad but you can tell that it didn't have a good trip there. Um, everything looks in one piece though and other than the box being smashed like everything looks pretty well padded and packed uh, and so uh, it has this little tinfoil not sure not sure why uh, never I don't want to argue there before you guys know what it is just let me know in the comments below uh, but yeah let's go and take a quick look at this guitar uh, I'm gonna be playing some of the different tones of the of the five positions at the end of the video but I'm gonna make another video with the mods that I'm doing I already had something in mind uh, of course I was not gonna keep this guitar <laughs> in this original form so I did m notice that these guys in the back are a little bit misaligned um, so not a big deal though it's pretty pretty minimal and the tuners are a little bit on the chunkier side uh, these are just like cheap cheap ones I do have like one of that are like classic um, vintage in instead of this I like those better so I'm gonna switch them out as well um, guitar has a little bit of a high action and to be honest I, I, I do play a lot of uh, high action but not that much so but I would say most people might not even have to adjust this this is you know if you're just learning chords that will be okay so um, the only thing that I did notice uh, that could be the damage from that uh, bump in the box is the five ways electric switch and the actual tone if you see it it looks like all the way pushed uh down so when you turn it around it does crashes the control plate that's an easy fix with just undoing the screw but you know it will make you think that the pot itself was a little bit damaged but the moment you get that clearance uh you're good and and yeah so I am very surprised with the quality of this guitar. Everything pretty much looks perfect. I haven't found like anything that wasn't the cheap and damage, um, other than the misaligned string furrows in the back. So um, the five-way selector switch is the classic Squire one. I I don't like them. I'm gonna change it uh, when I get the chance. But the pots themselves look to be alpha, and the volume is full size. So. I think I'm gonna actually keep the the pots and they feel good they have a little bit of friction um, and they actually have range so that's the thing with the only reason you really want to change pots is if of course if they're broken but if you can't get a range out of it so for example that it goes from 20% to 100% in a little bit of a turn so you, you're not able to dial in any you know any changes uh, so it came with a humbucker routing, pretty interesting. And these guys look to be El Nico. I would guess El Nico Five. I couldn't find what actual El Nico they are. They just say Fender Custom Voiced El Nicos. Um, but I would bet they're El Nico Five. Let me know in the comments below if you have an idea of what that could be. So I'm gonna put it back together. I'm gonna record a little bit of the different sounds so that I can compare them when I change the uh, parts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the 62 reissue custom Telecaster on the bridge position and on the neck, and then I have a Robert Cray middle position. So I'm also gonna change the tuners and the five-way selector switch, but that's gonna be it. I'm gonna see you in the next one. And remember to like and subscribe and now I'm just gonna play all the positions on this Telecaster Paranormal calling out